Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Michael. And thank you, Nottingham, for coming out today. I tell you, it was actually 10 years this May coming that we were sat here for Carl Froch against Luce and Butte. And 10 years, of course, since we were last in the Nottingham Arena for a major fight night, a world championship fight night. That night still reminds me of how great boxing is. One of the greatest nights in British boxing history. And of course, coming up on March the 12th, we have another tremendous, tremendous night. We've been wanting to come back to this city for a long, long time. Now we've got the excuse to do it with a brilliant, brilliant fight. The world featherweight title between Nottingham's own Lee Wood, of course, and Belfast, Michael Conlon. It's such a brilliant fight for both guys. For Michael Conlon, he's got the profile, he's got the amateur pedigree. For a long, long time, he's been widely regarded as a world champion in the waiting. And this young man to my right, you guys should be very proud of because he's done it really the hard way in the pro ranks. Small hall shows, fighting as the away fighter, suffered defeats probably when he shouldn't have, taken last minute fights. And in our back garden in the summer produced one of the best performances from a British fighter for a long time, dethroning Kanzu to become the world champion. And now on March 12th, you guys get the chance to celebrate your own world champion. It's always great when you've got a kid from the city. Now this is not a kid that's moved to Nottingham, it's not a kid that's sort of stayed there for a little bit. This is your kid through and through, a Nottingham boy that gets a chance to defend his world title in front of his people, live on the zone, March 12th, Nottingham Arena. The tickets from these guys on the pre-sales have gone mad. You know, we looked at this venue, we talked about Madison Square Garden, we talked about Belfast, Michael's a huge ticket seller in Belfast and Ireland as well. This guy's the champion. I think Nottingham was the place to do this fight and Michael accepted that. He's ready to bring a huge amount of support from Belfast and Ireland and we'll be there tomorrow for the press conference as well. But well done to both guys because this is a tremendous, tremendous fight. Of course, we're joined by both fighters here today, but also by Jamie Condon, former great fighter himself with Condon Boxing, and Ben Davison, who's been such an integral part of the development of Lee Wood over the last year or so to position him as a world champion. We're going to hear from those guys first. Mike, uh, Jamie, sorry, obviously well invested in this fight with Condon Boxing, but also as your brother. This is the one you've been waiting for, opportunity for him to become a world champion and a brilliant, brilliant fight. Yeah, definitely. Um, I believe it's destiny. Michael Condon has always been tipped in Ireland to be one of the best boxers ever to come out of the country. He's proved that as an amateur. He's done it. He's become the only male world champion from Ireland. As an amateur, he's progressed nicely as a pro. And, and when the, the opportunity to come to Nottingham came up and, and there was a bit of bitching and moaning, we were very happy because when we sat down, me and my father, and we said to Nottingham, this, that's what it's meant to be. To become world champion, you must go to the opponent's backyard, beat him in front of his own family, his own friends. That's how you do it. That's how you get a state legacy. That's how you build something even greater than what's already been built, than being built up, fighting in your own city all this year. So when we were talking about this, when we sat down, that, that added that, everything in us, like the energy that's coming across from Ireland, the, 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 the ferocity that's going to be in the, the, the hostile arena. And we're very excited, very proud as a brother, very proud to be in part of the, his career, to see him progress, to get to this moment. But, this is the one. This is destiny. Does that give you a little bit of a, a chip on your shoulder fighting? You know, it's almost like the away fighter. I know you're going to have thousands of Irish in the arena on March 12th, but you two just sitting up there at the back there, you know, normally you'd be fighting at Belfast or in front of so many fans yourselves where you kind of feel like that you are the underdog in this situation. I know you believe you're the favourites in this fight, but, but definitely an underdog mentality. No? But, but men, the underdog. underdog mentality. I never fucking walk in any arena with you no know, favourite mentality. I put that mentality in my head since I was a baby. Underdog, ready to take anything and go against anything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. There's two of us, only two of us came. Two of us came here. Right. For like, mate, you know what That's all right. That's yeah, for sure. But I'm saying, you fancy yourself in this fight, don't you? You I'm see saying, yourself as a strong favourite. I fancy but... myself. Every fight. I have answers for anything anybody does. So we'll see. And Jamie, for you, obviously a very proud moment with, with Condon Boxing and, and for the family as well. No doubts in your mind, March 12th, no, no Michael Condon becomes world champion. No doubts at all. We, we travelled here as two, just the two of us. 
and Kurt and, and, and Aaron came as well just for the play the FIFA in the car. Thanks very much for that. Um, Lovely, actually. <laughs> yeah, some, some motor. But two of us, that's how confident we are. We don't need to bring everybody in our gym to come and watch us do a fucking press conference. We come here, it's business. Very exciting. And one word on, on the Belfast fans, Irish fans that will be travelling. We'll, we'll see him tomorrow. We'll see him tomorrow as well. Tomorrow I'll be crazy. Yeah, yeah. They, they, listen, they, they've been... He's been blessed. With, you, you've experienced it with Frampton yourself over the years. Belfast, when they get behind their own, it's, it's hard to beat. It's a city that we don't have much, basically. Boxing is our sport. Boxing is our passion. Our boxers in Ireland, in Belfast especially, our back page news, whereas in, in England and the UK, footballers and all take priority. But in where we are from in West Belfast, boxers are lauded over any other sportsman because they understand boxing is Belfast is a boxing city. Mike, we'll come back to you shortly. Ben, see a, a fired up pair over here. Nothing uh, you wouldn't expect. This fight's got everything. Um, two tremendous fights. It's a nice bit of spite as well, and, and everything on the line. Your charge after a tremendous win against Kanzu, got it all to do in front of his fans and, and a, a whole lot of Irish fans on March 12th. Yeah, it's a tremendous fight, and um, as you say, as, as Jamie and Michael were saying there, the Irish fans that come over, they're going to cause a great atmosphere. The Nottingham people, if they've just shown, shown here, they're going to have a great atmosphere. It's going to be a great atmosphere on the night, but every blood, sweat, and tear that both these lads have, have put in over the years from the moment they both started boxing this boils down to this this fight, this moment and we can all sit here and there's no pressure, of course there's pressure, there's a hell of a lot of pressure and whoever can handle that pressure, accept that pressure um, and now to use that pressure can create a diamond on the night or pressure can also burst pipe so whoever handles that, accepts that, deals with that um, on the night will be victorious and uh, it's a fantastic fight and um, you know, I, I think that shows the turnout here. I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic turnout tomorrow as well. And it'll be a fantastic turnout on the night as well. Obviously, the fight taking place in Nottingham. People talked about New York and Belfast as well. I guess you have to be happy with that as, as a trainer that someone's fighting in their backyard. But also a huge amount of pressure as well. You know, Lee Wood won that world title in, at fight camp in front yeah. of 200 people. You know, he's never boxed in front of a huge crowd in Nottingham. You know, he's, he's, he's headlined in the arena before, but a totally different experience. And I guess important for you to keep him calm as well at the same time. Yeah, exactly. And that's one of the reasons why I say that there's a hell of a lot of pressure on both these guys. You know, uh, this is Mick's first world title shot. And um, Kanzu was obviously Lee Wood's first world title shot. So it's, obviously it's a dream to fight for a world title, but for Lee Wood, it's a always been his dream to box for a world title in Nottingham and he's got that now um, and that's what brings the pressure for Lee but um, the experience in that is going to help him with that he's, he's dealt with pressure before um, he's very good at dealing with pressure and I believe that's going to show on the night what is the, the difference for you in this fight with, with your charge? I know you're not going to go into game plans, but you always talk about Lee Wood's power as well, and we saw that in the Kanzu fight as well. Is that, that going to play a major role in this fight as well? And what do you feel will be the difference on the night? Yeah, I, I believe, look, it's hard for me to explain, but it, is, it still shocks me how hard he hits. It is freakish, freakish. Like, I've trained him for over a year now. I still put the pads on and it shocks me. But that isn't going to win this fight. Um, Mick's a very, very versatile fighter. A versatile fighter can make adjustments through each round, through the round as well. So um, preparation, tactics, um, Lee understanding what he needs to do, when he needs to do it, that's going to be vitally important, um, which is vitally important for both guys because Lee's a versatile fighter as well. Can, as Mick can, box orthodox, box south, or box on the front foot, on the back foot. So. They're going to play a big part, but Lee's experience and physicality, I believe, will end up showing in that fight. Lee, um, obviously going to talk to, to both fighters here, but yourself, firstly as champion, sitting here now, and I said to you before, we were here for the, the Frotch Butte press conference, you said you were here that night. I remember you were supposed to fight on that card, and it didn't work out for you as well. You were part of that night, that atmosphere, which we'll never forget. You're sitting here right now as a world champion, about to defend your world title in a huge fight in front of what will be a 9,000 sellout at Nottingham Arena. Just put that into words of how you're feeling right now. This is something you've always dreamed of. I'm extremely focused. 
extremely focused. You know, like you said, I was here as a young boy watching Frotch, Frotch do it. I was supposed to box on that bill and uh, I sold about 40 grand worth of tickets and didn't get on because Frampton didn't stop his lad. So I, I owe the Irish for that. Um, but yeah, to, to, to come here to watch Frotch do it, it's gave me that experience as well, watching him, how he handles the pressure. Watching, that, watching him on fight night, watching him in the way of all them things coming through fight by fight. You know, I was taking it all in because I knew eventually my time would come. Like I said, 10 years old, I wanted to do this. I wanted to be here in this seat right now and um, I'm not letting this slip. I'm on fight away from a city round fight, which is my dream. And um, I'm, not, I'm not letting it slip. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask this question to both of you. Of course, a couple of weeks later, Josh Warrington fights Kiko Martinez. And this fight, I believe, will end up being for the Super Championship with the WBA, you know, uh, uh, Michael Conlon, Josh Warrington and Lee Wood, Michael Con, uh, sorry, Josh Warrington fight at the City Ground. I mean, there's you know, huge opportunities for both um, if you come through this fight. Yeah, I'm not looking at that fight. I'm not even looking at the belt. I'm not bothered about the belt. I'm not bothered about the money. I'm here to do a job. Um, I'm focused on Conlon. I know what I need to do to win. I'm working on the next seven weeks, practicing, drilling exactly what I need to do. I'm going to come out and get the win, and then after the fight, then we'll look at what's next. We'll look at the belt situation. Because it doesn't matter, you know, I just keep beating the kid that's put in front of me. Um, and then you get recognition for beating, beating the fighters, not so much the belts, because in recent times, you know, the politics of the belts keeps changing, and it just lets the fighters down, lets the fans down, but um, just keep doing what I'm doing, really. I'll talk to you both about this, you know, social media is something that we see. It always dates back to where the account was started, doesn't it? And one of your tweets a couple of years ago, which has been goaded a little bit, was asking for a Michael Conlon. You don't believe that, do you? You don't believe that, do you? Well, I don't know. Is that a real one? You know, but just <laughs> come on. Then. Obviously, your position as a fighter, you know, you come through the tough way, and now you you meet this man who you've watched over the years, and I'm sure you rate him as well as a fighter, and you know the task that's ahead on March 12th, but you truly believe that you'll beat this man, and, and I, I believe you believe you'll beat him inside the distance. Absolutely. Um, I respect him as a fighter. Um, he's not a fighter I've watched him for, you know, I admired him or I thought he does anything expect, expect, like different or special. But I do rate him as a fighter. I respect him as a fighter, as in I need to make sure I'm doing everything I need to do to win. Um, he is quite tricky. We've looked at him um, in great detail. But yeah, social media wise, it seems like he's got all of the uh, team Conlon trying to rattle me. But um, it is what it is. I just give what I get, you know. Um, I can do what I want to try to throw me off. I just see it as a weakness, you know. He's just trying to, um, trying to get any advantage he can, and it's it's not going to help him one bit. In fact, if anything, it's going to do the opposite. Michael, we saw him uh, requesting a sign, but I'm not sure if that was. I come to bear fast. I get through so 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 good. I'm uh, didn't bring the day, unfortunately. But no, listen. Full respect to Lee. I don't run the Twitter stuff. Someone else is doing that. I don't pay attention to Twitter, unlike himself, but yeah, listen, if it's a fight, it's going to happen. Lee thinks he's going to knock me out. What happens when he doesn't? One thing that, going back to that social media that I think you said or whoever posted it from your team was, when he won the world title, was that he does have freakish power for a featherweight. Is that, is that, was that a, no, Lee made that one. Did he make that one up? Okay, we don't know what's for no, but listen, I, I was delighted for him. I wished him good luck on the week of the fight. I, I really wanted him to win. Um, I have a lot of respect for him. Seems like a lovely guy. I don't know him personally, but I've heard loads of good things about him. Um, so I have the utmost respect for him as a person, as, as a fighter. But... Fuck all that until after the fight, you know what I mean? Let's, let's get the fight done. I'll be, it'll be on the New Year, not in the Marina or whatever it's called, the Moore Point Arena. And we'll be going back to Ireland. You're a believer in the, the power, concerned with the power at all as well? I've not been you know, a big puncher my whole life. I've, fought so, I've had over 250 fights, you know what I mean? In the amateurs, I've, fought, I've sparred. Name one. Name, name one big puncher. Oscar Valdez is a bigger puncher than name me. You're one. not a, as a pro. A puncher, you, as a professional, I name one. Oscar name Valdez one as a age. professional. You, you hit just people. one will do. One you name. One person to just speak. one. Talk of it. Wait in front of you. What happens when you can't me? What happens when you don't knock me? If I knock you out by round twelve, if you're looking at me around twelve, you can't. You're looking at me around twelve, and I haven't knocked you out. Guess what? I'm gonna knock you out. Yeah.
coming out for the 12th round. He hasn't knocked you out, then he's going to knock you. What happens if you don't knock him out? We're not banking, we're not, we're not, we're not banking on that, but I don't need to. What happens if you don't knock him out? But I don't need to knock him out. He doesn't have to knock me out. Like, somebody just says he will. What happens if he can't knock him out? Lee will win on points. What happens? Stop. You just said he's going to knock him out. You just said he did not. You've told people close. Mick Buck Stanley, but Lee can't do it. I've told him what? I know. I've told him what? He says, I will box the head of Lee. But you won't. You won't box the head of Lee. You won't box the head of Lee. I know this. You won't. You've also you told people listen. guys you should listen. that you didn't believe he'd win the Reese Moore fight. No, I didn't yes, say that. Yes, you did. I said Reese Moore was a tough fight. You don't no. believe him. Yeah, no, the problem is... I don't believe in him. I do 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 believe in him. But did you tell Sky then, when he was fighting Reese Moore, that Reese Moore is going to win? No, I said that it's a tough fight. Did I say that to you, Eddie? Did I say Reese Mould was a tough fight? Yeah, yeah. Was a tough fight. Did you say no, you spar with him. You well, are hard, he has hard spars with him, wars with him, and I flattened him. You have hard spars with Joyce, and I flattened did, did, did him. How did you say? How you? This guy, did you tell Sky? Reese Mould's going to win this fight. I don't think Lee's, Lee's able to adapt to my style. No, not at all. That's a lie. No, it's not a lie. So that everything else that you'll say, I'll take as a lie. Well, if you can back the evidence up of that, because I'll always say, and I'm, I've been respectful of me, and I respect me at skill. People have said to me, two people with the same thing, with different... Well, no you shouldn't believe all that you hear then. You shouldn't believe all that you hear then. When I walked in, Ed, with, when, with Kanzu, and I said you were going to win this fight, you was a bit like... Did I believe in Lee Wood? Don't start bringing me into it. <laughs> no, but the, but the, 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 the thing is, the thing is, like, we're not banking on power. We respect Mill Mix a very, very I'm good sure boxer. I've heard what you said. Very good heard boxer. What you said. He is. All, all off the record, I've heard you what you said. Heard what you said, mate. Yes. We know what you all, all so, but I am very, so I wouldn't get up here and say I'm very, very confident in Lee if I wasn't. Uh, that's good. So. You should be. Of course. You're, you're, you're trained for once. But, you know, he's always been the second check. You, you, the other guys in the gym are better than him, you're saying, and stuff like this, so I think Lee is fantastic, and I'm, if I'm being truly honest, Lee, I was, I was probably one of the first to tweet you when you beat Kanzu, because we were working together within the golden contract, and raving about him in the golden contract, I thought he was going to win it, but yeah, not to be when Jazza Dickens beats him, so all the best, all the best. But there was a liar, Ben. I hear one lie, the rest is bullshit. Man. But how can you there say something's a lie? I've, I've said from the start, it's, it, I believe Lee will stop. I'll tell you when I heard this, yeah? I heard this when Josh Kelly fought David Avanesia. And I, not, there was nothing to do with me and Lee Wood then. So Josh you fought him. Josh boxed who? Avanesia. And what? And I, that's when I heard it. From who? I wasn't Someone at that Someone in Sky Sports, mate. That's who. You don't need to, listen, it's okay. I don't need okay. to, I don't, need, I don't need to back that up. You believe in that, but you don't believe in men, so don't worry about it, mate. But if you can believe, if you can believe that, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. You're the one who looks very tense about it. You look nervous. Relax. Relax. You're okay. I am alright. You're the one who, you look nervous. It's not good. You made that Well, I know it's not, but you're the one who's mentioning me, saying I don't believe in my fire. Well, I believe he's going to win. It's okay. It's okay. You know when he's stood in front of me? As long as we've cleared that up. When Conan's north of me, looking at me in the eyes slightly, he might look in a different way. And his legs are walking west, he's gonna regret all this shit he talked. 100 percent Sure, man. I feel like I'm at Frampton Quig all over again here. Yeah. Um what we had the front a lanky streak of piss that he called? Yeah, yeah, there's something like that, yeah. I've never lived that down. I don't worry, I get up. I'll get that tomorrow. No, you'll be wrong. Mick, just talking about the fight itself, I know you, you study boxing, you know, you you been around boxing all your life. What is the difference in this fight between you and Lee Wood? Is it that versatility? People, you know, I know you talk about. I have an answer for anything he does. I have an answer for anything he does. I know what type of fighter he is. Has a decent punch. Punches hard, yes, 100%. Slow feet, curly head. I'll punch him. Slow feet, curly head. Apparently, that's the. Uh, <laughs> The, the analysis of you in this one. He is on it. Lee, your, your final words before I go to everybody else on this table. Plenty of spite in this fight, but more importantly, legacy. Really, to go on and be involved in some of the biggest fights in the sport. Legacy to headline in your hometown in front of a sold-out arena. This fight is everything to you. Everything. Um, I don't need to discredit him, tell him why I'm doing no performances or anything. You know, I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do. I'm going to go out and do it. And then uh, 
myself a massive fire and my dream fire in the city ground. Thank you, gentlemen. We look forward to Belfast tomorrow. Before we go, just a final prediction. Jamie, I know it's difficult to make predictions, but I want one. Points. Make all points. Michael on points. Ben Davison. Leewood by stoppage. Michael. I can stop Leewood and I can beat him on points. Leewood's been stopped by lesser punchers than me. That's all I'll say. And Lee, finally. Just make sure you're all there tuning in March 12th. Okay. March 12th, Nottingham Arena live on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Condon and Nottingham's own Lee Wood. <laughs>